Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our one Taiji lecture a week from the European Taiji Culture Communication Center. The European Taiji Culture Communication Center is a global network platform and provided the gateway from the many of deeper application of traditional Chinese culture, philosophy, medicine, and zoology. We have the worldwide grandmaster in this field and give the public lectures. We hope more and more people would like to enjoy our beauty Chinese culture. My name is Xiang Yu. I'm living in Germany. Um, I would like, uh, today is our first February of 2023. Today is also our first day of starting the spring season. Uh, maybe we can feel the special energy from the spring of this year of rabbit. Today, we would in, uh, glad invited our famous Taiji, famous Taiji master, Mr. Zhao Youbin, the fifth generation of young style Taiji Quan. He has been his Kung Fu more than 20 countries and start his students uh, all over the world. And today we will continue to learn our young style 37 form of Taiji Quan. Um, this demonstration is from the 17, kick with the right tongue and kick with the left heel. From 18, turn the body and hit the tiger at the left. Uh, and from 19, straight the obtent of ears with both first. So Everybody. My name is Zhao Youbin. Today is the seventh lesson for the 37th form workshop. In the previous class, we talked about step techniques. That is, techniques of hands, eyes, body, and steps. Now, we are going to continue this topic. I will explain some key points of the retreating techniques of Jin, Tui, Gu, Pan, Bing. Advancing, retreating, shift left, shift right, and central equilibrium. The movement of retreating mainly appears in the form stepping back to repulse the monkey. Some common mistakes are as follows. First one, when moving back the front foot, the leg is not lifted. Second one, the tip of toe is pulled backward, or the inside of the foot is turned inward, and then the outside of the foot is upward. And uh, what is the foot shape for normal retreating, stepping back? Generally, for walking back, we do not pull the tip of toe back like this. Instead, we pull the heels back with the ankles a little tensed up. Watch again. No, not like this way. But stepping back with heels and lowering down the soles of the feet to the ground. The steps are light and agile. Be sure not to tension the tip of toes. The most basic requirement is pulling back the heels and lowering down the soles of foot. When lifting the leg, there are two folding movements of the knee and the foot. Then the weight is moved back. The front knee should be pushed up. We should not pull back the leg directly. Then we will lose that pushing up power 
of the knee. Watch again. The weight is moved backward, and the knee is pushed up against the rival's sternum. The rival is parting the horse's mane, so you must step back and lift the knee upward at the same time. You should feel the lifting power. Please pay attention to the continuous movement. Move the weight backward. Lift the knee and hook the ankle and the leg. This is my exaggerated movement just for show. Look again. Moving the weight backward, lifting the knee and hooking the leg. When hooking the leg, we may lightly turn up the instep with just a little bit force. Be careful, with not too much force. We should have the feeling of this force inside. If there is no such force, the tip of toe would fall down. It is not recommended. It is the same as the sitting palm. The base of the palm must be sunk down. We should feel this force when lifting the knee and hooking the leg, the foot. Now, how to drop down the foot? Firstly, when stepping backward, do not shrink the crotch. Relax it and step back to the left. Do not put it on the same line with the front foot. Now, my front view, this is shrinking the crotch. Just relax the hips, especially the left hip. Raise up the knee, hook the foot, and step back with a round crouch. Now, it is time for the foot to drop down to the ground. It is the big toe that firstly touch the ground, and then the second toe, the middle toe, the fourth toe, and the little toe successively. The outside edge of the foot forms a cumbered shape. How to do it? Look. After pulling back the foot, do not touch the ground, neither with the heel nor with the inner side of the foot. But with the sole of the foot, firstly the big toe and then the outside of the foot touch the ground successively. Meanwhile, let the knee joint look for the tip of toe. We should feel that the force flows along the outside of the foot. Be sure not to turn the knee joint inward, but let the knee follow the tip of the toe. The crotch must be empty and round. When we step back till here, we turn the left hip outward. Once the knee faces to the tip of the toe, turn it to the front. This is the process of moving back the back leg. We should control the dropping position of the foot and feel the dropping force. Then how about the front foot? This gets to the sitting stance we talked about last time. For sitting stance, the tailbone must be vertical to the heel or a little inward, that is, not to be too backward. Look, stepping back, now too backward. We have a saying in Tai Chi Chuan, no excess, no deficiency. When you are about to move all weight onto the back leg, around 90% is okay. 
Then slightly open the crotch and leave enough range for the front leg to have supporting power. So both legs depend on each other for supporting. As the weight moves back, the front tip of toe taking the heel as the axle turns to the front. Now, 90% of the weight is on the back leg. The front knee should be not too bent, not too straight. And the muscles of the knee joint are slowly pulled up so as to be elastic and have penetrating force. This is too bent. This is too straight. Neither could produce a reasonable power. Just relax the hips and draw in the external force in order to have the lower limb stable. Meanwhile, lean the body a little forward. This action is associated with other movements. So I would like to mention the waist and hips here. When the weight moves backward, the first thing that we should note is the backward moving of the waist and the lower back. The waist and the lower back are pulled backward. The hips as two wings move backward, rotate, turn rightward along with the waist and finally the whole weight is on the right leg. This is the first motion. The key point is the second one. That is the co-movement between the right loin and the hip. For example, for moving back the weight, firstly we move the hip backward. When the weight is completely on the right leg, we pull the right loin backward from inside to outside, so as to lift up the left leg. We cannot only move the hip without leading power from the waist. Look, this movement is too far fetched because we have not drawn in the buttocks and the right loin has not positively moved back together with the hip. It must follow the hip's movement to lift up the left leg with the power from the inside out. At this moment, the waist, the hips, and the belly are drawn in and produce a guiding inner force. The external shape leads to inner motion, and the inner motion affects external shape. This is a mutual influencing interconnected movement. This is very important for the step back in the form stepping back to repulse the monkey. Tai Chi Quan emphasizes internal and external coordination. That is, the inside of the waist and belly moves along with the external parts of the body. The inside and outside interact with each other. The waist is the controller in all Tai Chi Chuan practice. All movements, including advancing and retreating, rely on the waist. The waist leads all movements of the whole body. Details will be explained in the next session. Here, I mainly mention the process of stepping back. With the moving back of the weight, there must be a movement of pulling back the right line in order to raise the front leg. In turn, when the front leg is ready to rise up, we should move all the weight onto the left leg. At the same time, we draw back 
the left lawn, and uh, then pull up the right leg. This is the important point for the waist and hips in retreating techniques. We must note that we should not pull to up the front tip of toe. For example, we start with this posture. Now we move back the weight. If we pull up the tiptoe, the power of the waist and hips would not be exerted. So we should not either intentionally put up the tip of toe nor press it down. Just lightly touch the ground and lift it up with the force of the waist. It is very common to put up the front tip of toe when moving back the weight. In Yang style Tai Chi Chuan, we do not lift up the tip of toe when lifting the front leg. For example, in the form raising hands, turning the body, moving the weight leftward, and then lifting the heel. In the form deflect, parry, and punch after the form, turning body, and throw the fist, moving the weight backward, pulling down with the left hand, and punching with the right hand. At this time, you cannot put up the tip of toe, but slightly turning the tip toe inward and lifting the heel. In the form, deflect, parry, and punch. If your strike is short, you may directly raise the leg, but it is not allowed to put up the tip of toe. This is the same requirement as that in the 85 form of Tai Chi Chuan. Next, we will talk about the crouching stance, Pu Bu, Pu Bu, and the movements of waist and hips. Now, pushing down the body in the form single whip. Pulling down and swing the tip of toe outward. The movements of the waist and hips need to be smooth. Do not directly sink down the weight. Firstly, turn to the right and then turn back to the left. Next, move the weight forward. During this process, there is a circular formed by the tailbone and the hips. This circle is similar to a Chinese figure Ba Eight or to a reversed letter U. The whole moving process is smooth without any interruption and straightness. For example, this kind of pulling down and sinking down is too strict. The right way is moving to the right and then to the left. The movement should be yuan zhuan xiang sui, that is, all movements and postures should be round and circular. The hips move around the waist and follow the changes of the weight, forward or backward, in a circular form, and then move forward without any interruption. This is only some explanation about the crouching stance. That's all for today. Thank you very much.
重心全部移向右腿，渐渐下蹲，两手顺时针抹平腹，同时抬左脚向左前方伸出，渐渐弓步，体右转，两手拉开，向右斜方。然后重心全部移向左腿，右手超过来，到左手腕外，成为十字手。然后两掌力旋，前后分开，绷脚尖向右斜方分出，手与脚齐，眼随手。再看左蹬脚。左腿屈蹲，右腿松落，两手微收回，右掌心朝上，左掌心朝下。二，右手跟右脚向右前方伸出，弓步，两手逆时针画弧，向左前方。三，左手超至。右手腕外，同时抬左腿，然后两手分，内旋，收腰胯，将右腿蹬出，朝正前方，眼随左手。一，体微沉，左腿松落，左手超至右腰前，两手提，然后体左转，接着继续左转，向前迈出一步，左手拉开，弓步，两手合，左手在上，右手在下，左打虎式。再做一遍。左打虎，一，两手平，左掌心朝上，右掌心朝下，屈屈坐实。二，转，三，迈步，左手拉开，右手平，两手从弓步合拳，拳眼相对，眼向前平视。第一动，左腿重心不变，扣脚尖，两拳变掌，若与腰平，右掌心朝上，左掌心朝下。第二动，起右腿，两手收至右膝上，掌心朝上，然后右脚迈出，两手下沉，随弓步向前，渐渐合拢，拳眼相对，宽裕，头起。再做一遍，
出于重心不变，两手平，其右腿，七手相合，接着下沉，两手左右分开向前逼近，随弓步，眼向前视，注意手背要圆。Hello everyone. This time we will go on the seventeenth action. Right toe kick and left heel kick. Listen to the name right toe kick and left heel kick. In fact, two actors in this movement. There are two left skills in Yang style Tai Chi Chuan. From the appearance, one is called toe kick. The other is heel kick. The difference between them is that one leg is supported independently, and the other leg push it forward or kicked out. What is difference between them? The toe kick kicks forward with the toe, and the heel kick. Kicks forward with the sole and heel. Now, toe kick and heel kick here. You can also kick down to kick the other abdomen, crouch and knee. Toe kick is to kick up the other's crouch. Use different parts of the foot. Toe kick is the toe. Heel kick is the sole and heel. Be used in heel kick. Here the first difference. The second one is that the toe kick is at forty-five degree oblique. For example, follow the Gao Tan Ma learned last time. When doing this action now, take step in the oblique direction and kick out at forty-five degree. The heel kick. Is in the positive direction and kick out straight forward, like this one. The toe kick is oblique, heel kick is positive. Now I want to just talk a little bit here. Only two spare feet in the complete eighty-five style. Follow the Gao Tan Ma. One. Is to the right, and the other one is to the left. Apply forty-five degrees. All the others are heel kick, and always pointing in the right directions. In the thirty-seven style, take one toe kick and one heel kick. So the next action should be done. At forty-five degrees and in front. Now take a look from normal direction. Follow the Gao Tan Ma. Turn your hands wrong while opening and lifting your left leg. The second move. Step up to the diagonal nerves at forty-five degrees. Gravity forward. Hands turn wrong to form an up and down embrace. Hands and elbows facing each other. At this time, gravity moved only half. Keep bouncing forward and push right hand towards the right abric with thigh palm. Left hand pulled back with elbow backward. Eyes on the right abric. Right hand drops. Lift the right nerve. Lift. Leg upward straight with relaxing knee, hand and foot separated. Is the normal direction for demonstration. Now another side again. First, bend knee, squatter your legs, turn your body slightly to the right, 
and turn your hands round back and forth. Second move: step up to the diagonal, left at forty-five degree. Both hands keep rotating in a clockwise direction while lunge, turning, and curving. Elbows facing each other. Roundly, continue to lunge. Turn slightly to the left. Left elbow backward and separate up. Right hand push diagonally to the right, and then drop the left elbow slightly. Now thumb up. Drop your right elbow. Sit your wrist nearer to the outside of your abdomen. Lift your neck up with your hand. Left leg upper straight. A part hands and feet. This is the side monstration. Now back view again. Knee bent, leg squatter. Still the same height of lunge. One, lift your knee. Two, step up at forty-five degree angle. Three. Half lunge with elbow close to four, the lunge down. Now hands apart opposite each other. Then lower your right hand while lifting the right nerve. Next, stretch them out and add a forty-five degree angle and fall down. This is basic decomposition of the right nerve. Now next,、uh, some more main point here. For smooth cow time up posture, left hand stretch out, right hand backward. Both hands draw a half circle clockwise in the air, so that both hands change place, only back and forth, not top and down. The left hand stay below. Right hand on the top. Now this is mid nine of body. Body turn to the right. Both hand round up and down. Still turn to the front of middle nine of body. Although there is an angle change, that's caused by the wrist rotation. This is the first matter. Turn both hands clockwise for half a circle. Now the second thing to note here is during this process, nerve bend, the left crouch relaxed, and the knee lifted so that the crouch can be turned to the nerve oblique at forty-five degrees. When the foot falls and lunge forward, the two hands continue to circle a quarter of the arc. The hands round between the hands and elbows. Until mid here, holding be wrong, not be flat, not too closer, or keep your armpit close to your body. Keep your shoulders and elbows open and closed. At this time, pay attention to the lunge, which is half landing, not a hold. Now hands will not continue to turn wrong. Bad change to pull along the straight line. Continue the lunge forward. While the left elbow will be put back along the forty-five degree line. The right elbow dropped on the wrist. And push down along the forty-five degree line. Open your hands like drawing a ball. Eyes on your right. Hand. Both hands turn from wrong to poor. Let's look at previous move together again. Notice your body. Turn right. Lift your neck. Turn left to step up. Take right lunge to hold the circle. Continue to turn left in the lunge. Hands apart. This is action. On your hands before splitting your feet. 
What problems should we pay attention to in the following steps? The spirit book has two parts: the hands and the feet. Watch the hand first. After pulling out, left hand across the chest, right hand down to draw a circle, leading the right nerve. The falling hand is similar to the crow hand learned in the last class. Drop shoulder, elbow, and sit the wrist in turn. Then open the shoulders and elbows. Rotate the thumb outward, palm inward. Hold the whole arm wrong, just like holding a board. Take it to this place, not too flat, or press the palm down. Right hands falling refers to the right hand of Yin Shou. Relax shoulders, drop elbows, and seek wrists. Hands on the outside of lower abdomen. Don't bend your elbow. Next move: when hands lift feet up, bend your elbow inward and close it again. They are two parts. Shoulders thin, elbows bent inward, and then goes up from the lower abdomen. Thumb turns outward slightly. Hold your hands up to meet your right hand. Both hands up a little. Keep turning your thumbs out and circle them before your collarbone. When stepping out, can push it out in this way. Hands move in a circle, opening outward from shoulder to the elbow. Forearm stands up and draw knuck. In the air, spread both hands with the needle finger of the front hand point forward. Palm sit and erect the wrist. Left hand is slightly higher than the ear. The angle between the two hands is about one hundred thirty-five degrees. The front hand and the toe are in the same direction. Should be wrong. However, there is another extreme of wrong opening, which is to send the two upper arms up and lift them to separate. This is also wrong action. Be sure to open the elbow from the shoulder. Draw a circle vertically on the forearm and rotate the palms towards the little finger. What should we pay attention to when kicking? No matter toe kicking or heel kicking, notice that the body is sideways, just like doing the lunge at beginning of the lunge. Foot outwards, swinging at forty-five degrees. Gravity moves forward. Turn left. Up lead and nerve. The lunge is to move forward, like the independent nerve is to lift the knee and the nerve. Left nerve kick the ground to stand up while lifting. Knee. The knee should be higher than your crouch, navel to your belly button. In this position, although have swing feet motion, then turn round and lift nerve. Note, the figure is sideway, and the belly foot also sideway, not forward. As for spilling or kicking forward, your body turns to lean backward. This is problem to pay attention to. The body shape of the toe kick and the heel kick should be sideways. So whether it is a lunge or an independent nerve, your body should rotate from the Gao Tai Ma. Please pay attention to your body shape. Turn right to nap and step up. Turn right, curl in and lunge out to nap while lifting nerve.
the up your knee, turn sideways and spell it your feet. We can stand still in this way. The same goes for heel kick. Next is the left heel kick. It means kick with the left foot. Spell it foot is at 45 degrees. But here is straight ahead. After spelling foot, the foot fall down forward and hands turn round as before. When pull the lunge, body also turns sideways slightly to the right. Lift your knees and curl your hands, and push forward with your heels. This is heel kicking. Watching from this side, after placing right foot or down first, turn right hand upward, lift elbow bend back. Towards the left chest, step up with right foot, hands cross in half as well. Lunging girl song, hands apart, turn body to the right, lift knee, hang guys your neck up, hands apart, heel kick. Now do it like this. These demonstrations are also the same. Apart hands, down foot. Notice here, the hand is on the left shoulders, lunging, hurling, turning wrist, pulling, turning body to the right, up knee, knee nerve. Apart hands, heel kicking. One more again from back. Gao Tan Ma. Right turkey, left heel kick, this is seventeen style. Now let's go on eighteen style. He tiger and nerves, just as his name implies, also has he tiger and white. But there is only one he tiger and nerves in the thirty seven style. From demonstration of kicking, turn to forty five degrees behind you and do hitting action. In the eight five style, up. Finishing the left hitting. It will return to the right front and do another hitting. There is only one in the thirty-seven style. Let's learn how to play this motion. We learned Zhu Di Chui before. It's a one-handed fist. But he tiger is two-handed fist tactor. The top and inner fist ties are opposite. The top hand is in front of your forehead. The inner one is in front of your stomach. These two fist eyes are opposite in the middle line of your body. Let's see how to get through this section. From the Gao Tan Ma to the Shuang Feng Guang Er, this group is a little complex. Basically, in the oblique directions. Let's talk about this action. Showing from normal direction. Up kicking, the nerd falls. Right shoulder relaxed, elbow dropped, left elbow backward. To meet your right table, while the right hand falling is slightly lower than that of Yin Shou. Hu Kao arm to the shoulder socket. Up falling down here, the palm root is at the rib level, and left hand is on the right table. Then turn around to the forty-five degrees angle behind you. 
take step forward, make right feet with the lunge. Raise the left hand in the arc. Turn your hand over and make a feet. Palms face each other. Now the hand shape on the back is not very clear from back. Up kicking, first four down first. Squat here, and then turn. While turning, left crouch gently put. Right nerve, left crouch opened with the right nerve. Take the right heel at the center. Left crouch pull, right crouch, and drive the whole body to turn left. No tear. That is easy for beginners to move and buckle the right foot actively. Doing so may cross body to be easily. Another is instability. The body is easy to shake. You can practice this more. Hold the crouch. Drop the. Tailbone, raise the road and sit down just like sitting on the stool. The left crouch can turn round with the right crouch by opening and pulling the crouch gently. Turn around and your knee face the angle of forty-five degrees. You want to step two, step up and foot down. Move your right hand flat and make a fist. With lunge, lift back hand upward and knock. Problem here is while turning, foot length, turn body forward to lift. Hands cooperation. Attention here, right hand gradually stand up during the process of turning the wrist, and flat the right hand forward. Make fist. Fist ties inward. Is an action of flat hand, elbow bending and punch. Left hand draws a little large arc. Turn slightly to the left with a lunge. Pull left hand downward. Open the shoulders and elbow. Focus on the left hand. Turn the left arm inward. Keep lifting. Meet the right hand in the middle at the same time. The up and lower fist faces each other. Open the left shoulder elbow. Fist, turn the wrist back to the right, and then continue to bend the elbow and turn the arm inward. It's like throwing the whip out, and turn your wrist to bring it back. Your hand always knit your arm and shoulder up, shoulders opened, not turned over. If wrist from upper arm to shoulders a lot, the same level, and the body is cycling. The act of arm rotation and upside down is not easy to do. I often give an example in teaching, like holding a cup of water in this way. You can pour it out directly. If you want to lift it up, just like Chinese people pour wine, take cup and bottle and turn it upside down. Tilt the bottle, turn the arm and the bottle and leg will face down. The lower hand catches it when it comes, just like a cat. Now, having a demonstration from back, starting from the Gao Tan Ma, take a look at the whole. Pay attention to the orientation. Look here, left diagonal forty-five degrees. The right hand pushes towards right diagonal, forty-five degrees. 
apne a parcel right diagonal of 45 degrees for down hands turn wrong push hand down ready to kick towards street hurt down the turn step pop at 45 degrees diagonally behind this is the overall direction of hitting tiger and right tail kick left heel kick intention everyone although the hitting tiger is the action in the oblique direction we can see from front that a right lunge is turned to right with flat shoulders top hurt and crouch The narrow elbow bend and hold wrongly. Make a fist with up hand by back hand, face tight downward, and facing your forehead, submit the fist back. The fist tight is facing your up abdomen. Looking forward, don't block your eyes with narrowing hand. The body is positive. Not be sideways. Attention to flat shoulders. Not higher on one side and lower on the other side. Is it stable? This is practice of hitting tiger nerves. That is the hitting tiger. Let's move to the next. Right turn kick and left tail kick. The directions of these two motion are a little complex. All in the black directions. For having a clear concert and also build an idea of the direction for the next section, Shuang Feng Guang will start with the single width Danbian and the high pad on horse Gao Tanma to show you in both positive and negative directions. Gao Tanma, this positive direction. Rice belly to a flake, forty five degrees. Left heel kick, straight to her, sink down and turn back at forty five degrees behind you. That is one hundred and thirty five degrees. Go for the next motion. The twin peaks turns 118 degrees to the right again and make another action towards 45 degrees. Watching from back again. Gao Tanma. Right belly, left heel kick, turn 135 degrees, drawing head tiger nerves, back of foot, turn waist, lift the knee, tilt 45 degrees, and one more turn peaks. Through this group of demonstrations, we may have a relative complete concert from the demonstration. Stress again, an 85 style, the main orientation is the eight directions of the eight diagram. Had no other directions, is divided equally according to 45 degrees, easy to grasp. We all see that the turn peaks is also a movement of catching fist with both hands, rotating arm and lifting fist. Best of all, the talk about 
change of directions. 45 degrees. If I do it in my normal demonstration, resemble tight pose, back foot, or warding hands up. Step up and back the elbow, lunge, and arm rotated. While turn it over, go tama as in this position. And Da Hu is here. Take a closer look. Look at the foot feet. Turn 180 degrees on the diagonal line. Crouch root six and red. Pull back out between 19 degrees and 135 degrees. Gravity backwards. Raise the roll down. Up knee and nerve. Body turns to right so that the 45 degrees is the right way. Step forward, lunge, and heel kick the ground down with. Open the question here. When you step up after buckling, some friends will ask. Why is it more comfortable to roll your back foot when you lunge? Just because you don't back your feet enough, not even 19 degrees. So when you step forward in the lunge, the actual angle between your feet is more than 19 degrees, which is an obtuse angle. So when you step forward, your feet must be rolled and adjusted to an acute angle. The angle between the back foot and the front foot is an acute angle more than or equal to 45 degrees and less than 19 degrees. If it becomes a right angle or even an obtuse angle, the foot will be uncomfortable stand in this place. This is the foot. Now about hands. Wrapping crouch and back of foot. Left hand is a little higher. Relax shoulders, drop elbow, and then change your right hand into palm from fist. Then up it, just like holding a book reading. Lift your knees, turn around, and then open your shoulders and elbows. Hold your hands above your nerves. Then, stir up and back the elbow. Lunge. Pull hands up while rotating. Make your fist at the same time. Never your two temples and a white little bit. Strange child. Look at the front. General approaches to composite into one, two, three, and Four stirs. Pay attention to what? Most of Thai friends speaking English maybe don't know what the four word Shuang Feng Guan Er mean in Chinese. But for Chinese Thai friends, we should also pay attention to the word Feng here which refers to the peaks of mountains, not the earth flowing to form the wind. Some students will think that this action is to draw a big arc outward with both hands and pour it into each other's ear. Just like wind, Irrigation is pouring or water in the narrow cave. This is called irrigation. It sounds very powerful. In fact, 
This peak refers to the peak of mountain. Two peaks refers to the finger pointing diagonally downward, and we call the middle knuckle of the index finger peak. This action not to throw two hands apart and hit the mean, but rotating arm story. Using two arms and forearms to make a strong fist. The same by opening the shoulder and elbow. Put the other's hand on the outside and then close the fist with both hands. Click the other's ear or temple with your knuckles. First of all, you should protect your portal and not be opened. If done, you will lose your defense. Or you can push the other hidden palms aside, catch the other's hand from the bottom, get him by rotating arms. This is also the turning bit. What should we do after turning around? Open your elbows and sit here with the little fingers tilted towards your crouch. At this time, your eyes look at your hand here, just like you're reading a book here, more like the eight bar of Charlie's characters. Do this, and then move forward. Know that the hand did not hold here. As you step forward, Open your elbows slightly, outward, and shoulders and elbows. Open. Just for strengthening forearm, then rotate the arm and brace. When you get up, the forearm, under and radius should be rotated and slightly extended outward. Note. The hands and wrists should not exceed elbows. The word aid has always been like this. We should maintain this number. When students practice it, it will go out and start from here. It was originally an eight character, which became an outward eight character, which was wrong. Two hands should be slightly extended outward, just like closing umbrella. Open it and finally close it with your fist. When closing, keep open elbow and shoulders. Close fist in the middle, just like using scissors. From this direction, side up, holding. Rotating arms, hitting shoulder and back round, and look straight. Look again from back. Suppose this direction is the upward direction of turn picks. Stir palm, rotate. Arm and holding, always keep the crouch shoulder held flat. Hurt hand, wrist closed, and the whole thing straight. Upward eyes hurt. Don't shrug your shoulders and turn your look down into this shape. It is also a common matter. It is the same as the heat tight fighting. Body is positive, hands are wrong, turned over, and body shape is also positive. This is the main method of turn base. Single whip is the normal demonstration direction. Gao Tan Ma. Belly right foot, kick left heel, attention the oblique direction just now, 
and this is the positive direction. Squat down, turn 135 degrees, tilt back 45 degrees, back of the foot to back up to 19 degrees, turn around 180 degrees in the epic direction. That is direction of belly foot just now. Here is a turn this back view. Gao Tan Ma, stand up. The belly to right nerve, 45 degrees. Turn around and pull out in the right way. Squat down, pull the crouch open. Turn around 45 degrees behind you. That is 135 degrees. Back of foot and hand down. Step up and drop elbow. 45 degrees diagonally. That is split nine just now. Three motions today. Turn kick, heel kick, and independent nerves. They require for stability, raised nerve strength and flexibility. So at the beginning, there may be instability in sterling and lower kicking. In that matter, this is physical action. You need to practice more to improve your balance, curl strength of waist and abdomen, and flexibility. You can also improve it in other ways. This can improve the quality of this action. If you can kick your nerve, it doesn't matter. The first step is to lift your nerve up and stand sturdily. As for how high and far your nerve can go out, practice slowly. But at beginning, if you don't stand up or do this action more casually, it will be difficult to practice this action well in the future. The second point is that the directions of these movements are most oblique. I hope you can watch the video more times until you can get the directions of these movements exactly. Not so much for this time. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, <laughs> Master Zhao Youbin and Zhao Liang for show our uh, lovely training video. And does everybody has question? This is the 17th to 19th, which is our legs are more. Yes, in the traditional path, there are seven legs, which is 85 legs. In this year, in the 37th to 37th, there are two legs. 37, 呃，有两个腿，一个分腿，一个蹬腿。分腿是斜方向，脚面是不用脚尖和脚的侧面去蹬，啊，这个呃去去，这叫分脚。蹬脚不就是正方向，是用脚跟的，这是区别是在在这个地方啊。这个八十五是传统操里边前后一分有七个腿，啊，腿法是这样子的，嗯。嗯主要是这个要单脚站立，这个要练练习。<笑>对对，它有一个对称性关系。比如说是你蹬腿的时候呀，这个腰胯要向后向下沉，形成和出腿的这个腿呢形成一个呃拉开的这样的一个前后陪衬的一个关系，这样子它就相对来说就比较稳定。呃，它不要求是呃身体是歪的，相对来说要。啊，收住胯，十腿要收住，呃，收住这个这个腰胯啊，是向下的，向后的，啊，这个出腿也很快，啊，出腿就要收回来，但是练习呢可以慢一点，啊，但是意思呢是很快的，啊，嗯，这个在前去之中必有后撑，啊，你往前必须要有后背的力量。给它对称起来啊！对，这就是表示保持阴阳平衡的状态啊！对对对对对对对，有上就有下，有前就有后啊！问，请问提手上势的呃，击击公里
，这个比较复杂。最最简单的就是，基本上是是，拿对方的关节啊，呃，比如说拿左手的关节啊，呃，手回琵琶呢，它是，呃，一个是折叠技，它是立圆的啊，这里边变化比较多，这这一下子，呃，这必须要示范。啊，最简单来说，提手上是右手接对方左手的腕，左手呃左手接对方呃左手的腕，右手呢拿对方的关节啊，这反关节，这是一个意思。第二个就是右手举手就要驾驭对方左手打来之手，捧上去以后右手出击。打击对方的肩部和头部，啊，这是提手伤势这个，呃，另外一个就是化解，啊，对方就是，呃，右拳打来，我左掌要要防御，啊，右手要出击，啊，对方呢用右右左手推我右左右手的时候，我反过来一转身化解，然后去靠，它是这么一个意思，嗯，啊，简单来说。啊，是个风势。嗯，再简单来说，就是对方如果扑过来，你要后退半步，两手一用肘一合，啊，就封住对方的两只手，然后肘一沉，把力量往下卸掉，接着就往前推掌踏出。啊，这个用法是可以变的啊。最简单的话就是两肘一合。啊，然后用掌去打击。对，咱们那十八式转身，嗯、呃，左打虎，这个转身就是要那个腰，用动腰转身，对吧？这个是一个难点动作啊，难点动作，就是太乙拳的动作里边，呃，简化归简化，但是有些难点呢，呃，还是要，因为它也是一种练习嘛。呃，你比如说这个，呃，这个左动脚以后下来是左打虎。左打虎也可以，呃，不转身，就是左脚右脚呀不转身，呃，就直接撤步，然后再转，这样子稳定性好一些。但是作为套套路里边练习里边没有这个，必须要有这样动作，还要练习动态的稳定性，一个腿来转动的稳定性，所以它是一个难度动作。那么在做这个动作的时候呢，要根据个人的年龄和身体素质的情况。啊，这个以稳定为好。那么通常来说的话，练习就是左腿蹬出去以后，右腿要松沉下去，然后开左胯，啊，左左胯带动，用胯来拉动一下，产生向左转的一种动力。这个时候的右腿以脚跟为轴，随时而左转，它是这么个运动过程。啊，主要是增加了一个。当然，有时候比赛表演为了稳定性，呃，就去掉了这个，呃，独立腿转动的这个动作，一转腰直接上步，哎、呃，就过去了。如果大家没有问题了，那我们今天就结束。啊、呃，对，好，谢谢，好吧 ，OK， 谢谢各位，谢谢各位，嗯、非常感谢，谢谢主持人，好，下次见。